The IMF is one of the world's leading sources of expertise and advice on government budgets and finances. Right now, governments around the world face enormous fiscal challenges, but they must also take action to slow climate change and address pressing social needs. Reducing subsidies for energy can help countries tackle all these problems. Cutting subsidies will slow climate change by helping reduce energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions. And it will save governments money and allow them to spend more on programs to help the poor. Take energy subsidies, for instance. Not only do they hurt the planet, but they help the rich at the expense of the poor. Just how large are energy subsidies and why are they a problem? In 2011, they equaled about $2 trillion, which is nearly 8.5% of total public revenues. Nearly all countries in the world subsidize energy, including the advanced economies. Subsidies are especially large in oil exporting countries. There are many adverse consequences from subsidizing energy. First, keeping energy prices artificially low prevents investment in the energy sector. Low and subsidized prices make it unattractive for the private sector or even state-owned enterprises to invest in the energy sector and to expand energy production. This reduces the supply of energy, which of course is a critical input for growth. Second, Energy subsidies absorb resources that could be used for health, education, and infrastructure. In the Middle East and North Africa, energy subsidies are the equivalent of more than 20% of government revenues, while in Sub-Saharan Africa, energy subsidies are larger than public spending on health. Third, energy subsidies increase the gap between the rich and the poor. The subsidies benefit the wealthiest, who are the largest consumers of energy. The poor typically do not own cars or live in air-conditioned homes, and therefore do not get much benefit from cheap gasoline and electricity. In fact, the richest 20% get more than 40% of the benefits from energy subsidies, six times the share of the bottom 20%. Finally, cheap energy also accelerates climate change. Despite all this, many countries continue to find it difficult to reform energy subsidies. A new book from the International Monetary Fund shows how countries can successfully reduce subsidies in order to ease budgetary pressures and slow global carbon emissions and climate change. With a good plan and appropriate measures to protect the poor, subsidy reform is indeed possible.